Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic as a part of advanced ABAP concept. And our new topic is what is change document log or what is change document history. One of the most important topic for any customer because log and history is very, very important. Now, once that topic will proceed, we will see the real importance. Now, what is change document log or history? With the help of change document log, we can track the changes made to that particular document. Now, the first question comes, what is the meaning of document? Document can be anything. It can be any material. It can be any sales order. It can be any invoice. It can be any financial accounting document. So whatever the changes we are making to any document, we can track those changes with the help of change document log or history most most important thing suppose in a project if someone changed something by mistake so we must have a provision that we can see the log and history that what was the previous value at that point of time so log or history is very important and critical for any customer if there is no log or history and someone deleted something or someone changed something, how we can track those changes? So with the help of log and history, we can check, yes, this was the previous data or this was the previous values. So for the best understanding, suppose we will take an example. Suppose I will go to MM02 transaction code. What is MM02 transaction code? With the help of this transaction code, we can change a material. Suppose I am putting any material. Suppose I will go for material 134. I will go for basic data 1. You can see, suppose as of now, material description is iron 2. Suppose Someone change the description. Suppose we change the description to test. And I saved this particular material. Now material changed. Suppose I will go to now MAKT table. I will go to SC11 transaction code. And we all know material descriptions are storing into MAKT table. So I will display this table. I will go to the contents of the table. 134 material. Now for the 134 material, now the description is changed to test in the English language because we changed for the English language. Now the question comes Yes, where is the previous description? In this table, we have the current description only. The previous description was iron 2. And someone changed this description by mistake. Now, whenever customer is displaying the material, suppose if customer is going to MM03 transaction code and customer is displaying 134, Customer will say, okay, the description of the material is test, but it was not test previously, but table is showing the latest one. Table is only, only showing the description as test. If I will go to MAKT table again, 134, and you can see description is test. So yes. But there must be some provision of log or history in the system which can track all the changes. 
made to a particular document. And yes, in SAP, we have the provision for the same. In any technology, log is very, very important. Now, if I want to check the log or history of the same, SAP always maintain the log and history into these two tables. And it is very, very easy to remember. Change document header. CDHDR, change document header table, change document item table, CD post. So we have two table, CDHDR and CD post. And it is very easy to remember the name of header table CDHDR and the name of item table is CD post. CD stands for change document. Now I will go to these two tables and show you that whatever the changes we made to that document, there is a complete history of the same. Suppose if I will go to SC11 transaction code. In MAKT table, you will not be able to see the history. You will be only, only able to see the current description. Now I will go to SC11 transaction code. And I will go to CDHDR table. If I will display this table, you can see this is change document header table. We have the change document header table. I will go to the contents of the table. Now, I will put the various filter criteria. Suppose I will put today's date because I change the description today. So I will put today's date. I change the description. So I will put my user ID. R Mehta, suppose. Now, which transaction code we used? Which transaction code to change? MM02. You can put other filter criteria also. It's total your wish. I will go to execute. Now you can see, I will go for latest time. I will not go for other time. This is the latest time. 12 44. The system time is also 12.44. Now, 12.44, there is an entry into this particular table. Now, whatever the changes we are doing and whenever those changes are going or whenever SAP is tracking those log or changes, every, every change has a change number change number. If I will go to back button and show you the column, change number of the document. Very, very important column. With the help of this only, we can track each and everything. So for every change, yes, we have a change number. If I will go to the contents again, I will put the username user date and I will go to transaction code. If I will go for this, this is the last change. So this is the change number. So in this table, you can see this is your header table, header table. In this header table, you will only, only get the header information. Header information means what? Yes, we who changed the description. What is the date? What is the time? What is the transaction code? What is the language? So all this header information will be in this particular table. Have you seen object ID is showing 134 because we change which material number? 134. Now, I will go for copying this change number. Control Y, Control C. So in this table, we only only has the header information. Now I will go to item table of change document. So I will go to CD post table. 
you can see if I will go to this table, it is change document item table. I will go to the contents of the table. Now here I will put that change document number. I will just put it again. It has not copied. 211487. 211487. Now I will simply simply execute and you will track very easily. So we have the material 134 change document number. Yes, we change which particular field MAKTX. If you see MAKTX is material description. And we have two clear columns, value new, value old. What is the new value? Test. What is the old value? Iron 2, iron 2. Suppose if I will change that description again, if I will go to 134 again, suppose I am making test 2, I will save. In the table, and make AT table, you will only only be able to see test two. If I will go to and make AT table, if I will go to contents one thirty four, we will only only able to see test two. But if someone wants to track the history or track the log, how we can do? Now, I will simply, simply go to firstly, change document header table. I will execute. You can see we have one more entry now. Previously, we have three entries. We have, this is the latest entry, 1252. This is the change document number. I will copy this change document number. And I will put into this CD post table. I will put both so that I can show you both the changes. You can see test iron to previous value, then test, then test is changed to test two. So it is tracking the log completely. It is tracking the history completely. Now, rather than going for tables, SAP provided a program also. Many times customer is simply, simply running the program to track the log or changes. So this program, SAP developed this program and this program SAP is using CD post and CD HDR tables only. So it is totally your wish. You want to track through tables or you can simply run this program also. RSS CD 100. So if I will go to this program, I will go to execute. Now in this program, I will put the various filter criteria. Otherwise, it will show lots of things from date. I will put today's date. Yes. 20th September. Transaction. We used which transaction code? MM02. Anyways, you have changed document number, so you can put that also. I will remove this object class because I am not aware about object class. Okay, we'll go to execute. And this program will also show you each and everything. If I will go here, you can see it is clearly, clearly showing me the history. Yes. What was the old value? What was the new value? This last two changes I did in front of this you. Iron 2 made to test. Then test is changed to test 2. So it is showing the complete history. Complete history. And it should be there. Because if history and log is not there in any technology. Yes, if someone did something or someone hampered the system or someone did something, how, how we can go for those or how we can check who did this. So with the help of log and history, we can track all these things. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, 
वो स्टार्टेड विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ चेंज डॉक्यूमेंट लॉग और हिस्ट्री इट शुड बी देयर इट शुड बी देयर इन ईच एंड एवरी सिस्टम बिकॉज इफ लॉग इज नॉट देयर If someone did something, how we can check the log or history? So SCP also provide a provision of change document log or history. With the help of that, you can track the changes, whatever the changes is made to that particular document. Now change document log or history always always stored in two tables. CD HDR and CD post change document header change document item table and we have a program also we can check the change document history or log with the help of this program RSS CD hundred and change document number is the important column with the help of that. you can check the track you can check the log or you can check the history now the most most important point now it is not a magic that data went to these tables automatically yes it's not a magic that the data updated into cd post and cd hdr tables automatically sap has written some logic to update these two tables yes in the next videos but we will do we will create our own table yes if we are changing the data into those tables we will make a log or history of our own tables also this see sap provided the change document log or history for the standard tables but yes if you have your own tables at that time you need to write a logic to maintain the change document log or history into these particular tables so that part we will learn in the next videos how how we can maintain the log of our own tables also so that's it in this particular video thank you